everybody, welcome back to our channel. Cecile is here off camera. You might hear some noise in the background. What are you doing, preparing your lunch? Yeah. So I want to talk a little bit about uh, all the recent changes, things that have been going on there with the government restrictions in the Philippines. Uh, but first of all, if you guys are not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you. We always uh, look forward to getting new subscribers. And uh, if you like the videos, give a thumbs up, leave a comment. And if you know anybody interested in the topics, share the videos. Uh, that's always a big help to us. So, uh, you know, a while back the Philippines opened for tourism. Finally, after two years allowing tourists into the Philippines, they still have the stipulation that you must be vaccinated and that's for anyone to enter. So that's still in place, but uh, we're starting to see a lot of improvements lately. The alert levels inside the country are down. Most regions are alert level one. Uh, so that's a good thing that allows people to get out, do things they wanna do, move about freely. Uh, kids, takes a lot of the restrictions off the kids and the seniors which is a big thing for us because uh, we have Liam, who's only eight. And then uh, when we're staying in the Philippines, Cecile's mom is typically with us uh, and she's a senior citizen. So there's a lot of places that she wasn't able to go over the past couple of years. Uh, even something as simple as going to the mall, a lot of times was not allowed for seniors and for the kids. So we're glad to see uh, that restriction gone for the kids and the seniors. Uh, you know, alert level one changes a lot of things for the better. Uh, you also have a lot more people now vaccinated than there was before. So that I think is helping to ease a lot of the restrictions and everything. Um, you know, the quarantine has gone away. Uh, when you arrive in the country, you don't have to quarantine. I think the only situation where someone would have to quarantine is if you're not able to prove your vaccination status, uh, they don't accept your proof of vaccination for whatever reason, maybe because of the country you're coming from, or maybe you just don't have the proper proof required for your vaccination status. But for the most part, the quarantine hotels now are gone. People are in, able to enter the country and to just go on about their business. Uh, that's also a big thing for us because we don't have to uh, home quarantine or any of that stuff. We can arrive there, we can go right to our house, and the next day we can get out and grocery shop or buy things that we need or start taking care of things without having to have someone do it for us, which is a big burden on someone else. So we would be able to go and do those things for ourselves. That's a, that's a big thing for us. Um, I was pretty surprised and uh, disappointed in how the government handled the pandemic uh, and the way a lot of the people were treated, especially elderly people and children. Um, you know, I, I think it just really bad treatment of those people is gonna have an effect on them probably for, for quite a while, but uh, it seems that a lot of that now is going away, but it was kind of an eye-opening experience for someone from the US to see a lot of that stuff firsthand. We were there um, November 2020 until March of 2021, um, kind of right in the middle of the pandemic and we kind of experienced a lot of this stuff and saw it firsthand. So it was a little bit uh, shocking to me, some of the rules that they had and and how strictly they were enforced and, and all that. and. Um, you know, a little bit different situation than what we're used to here in the United States. So that was a, a strange experience for me in a lot of ways. Uh, there is an election coming up in May, so there will be a new administration. Uh, the current president is not uh, eligible to run again. His, his terms are done and uh, there will be a new president in May. So it'd be kind of interesting to see how they handle the rest of this uh, pandemic and maybe how they handle the next pandemic or catastrophe that comes along in the Philippines. Do they do a good job at that? Do they handle it well? Do they treat people well? Uh, it be kind of interesting to see how all that works out. But uh, we are happy 
for all the recent changes there and you know maybe people can start to get their lives back now uh, post pandemic as things start winding down uh, in my opinion people deserve to be free free to live their lives make their own choices about their health about their families about their lives so looking forward to some of that starting to come back and allowing people to have a lot more freedoms like they used to have and used to enjoy so we're looking forward to all the new changes there next time that we're able to return to philippines uh, hopefully sometime this year we'll be back and enjoying all of the rule changes along with everybody else so uh, as i always say i shall return well thanks for watching everybody take care and we'll see you on the next video